So as a surgeon, talking to other surgeons at Imperial, um, people are getting increasingly concerned by the fact that students coming to Imperial no longer seem to have the same um, level of experience in practical skills that was the case only, only a few years ago. Um, s fairly straightforward skills of cutting things out and tying knots, things we used to be able to, uh, to take for granted that students would be able to do those things because they'd learnt them at school, they'd learnt them at home, they'd learnt them in their, in their earlier years. But now, uh, in many cases, that's not the case. And so it started us thinking about the importance of these, of these practical skills, these things that, that are easy to take for granted, but actually are, are perhaps skills that you, you can't be expected to know if, if you've never been taught. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we began to think about whether there might be parallels from other worlds, in my case, outside medicine, which is where I come from, where, where those skills are, are, are clearer to see and perhaps more explicitly taught. And then, um, Joseph, we had a, a conversation, didn't we, about the idea of mise en place, which was a term that I hadn't heard, mm -hmm. but a term that I understood immediately when you explained it to me. What, what is mise en place? Well, this idea of mise en place in kitchens, you know, very practical spaces where you're really hands-on using all of your senses. Mise en place is this idea where you keep everything in its right place, is kind of how it translates. The idea being that all your food is prepped, all your equipment is where it needs to be, and you are there ready for service in order to carry out the best kind of service you are. The more you plan and uh, plan your mise en place in advance, the better prepared you are. And I think a lot of these skills that we pick up as chefs and that we're trained in can translate into how students carry out practical work. I mean, I remember when you first, uh, you know, sort of told me about the mise en place sort of concept, and of course it had an immediate resonance to me as an organic chemist. But as the, the more we talk, the more we thought actually, you know, many departments around the college, in fact, there are there's there's resonance there as well, um, and so that's how we got into this project. Of course, uh, starting with chemistry, but I think our ambition is that this could be a, a much more general uh, connection between, you know, practical doing in all areas of science and engineering and medicine. Uh, absolutely, and, and that practical doing is something that I think it tends to get overlooked, doesn't it? Because it's, um, it's very often what people talk about, the, the scientific knowledge and the facts, facts and the concepts and things, and, and the, the actual practical doing tends to get overlooked and ignored. But that's absolutely. a problem because it's a crucial part, not only of chemistry, as you say, but physics and engineering, of course, medicine. And, and, you know, I think uh, the, the, the amount of practical skills that are taught in schools have decreased over the years. And, of course, the way that we uh, admit students is based on their academic grades. It's not based on how good they are in the lab. And so what we're doing in this laboratory is in the very first lab that chemistry first year undergraduates will be exposed to will be the chemical kitchen. It's basically saying, put the classical science aside. Let's start thinking about observation, practical skills. And so to do work in the chemical kitchen, you don't need to know much about chemistry. Absolutely you're not. thinking about what you're doing with your hands, and that's that's where the connection with 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 the, the world of the kitchen comes in. It is well, everything that we do in the kitchen is in some form uh, or another an experiment or a set of you know um, little tests that we're doing, and if we can bring some of the skills that chefs use in terms of um, you know, precision and weighing out ingredients and being organized and how they put their recipes together, if we can bring some of that um, that will help the students take them out of the chemical lab uh, without all the pressure that they may have and bring them into somewhere that's um, absolutely fine if you mess up your souffle in the oven, uh, then that will give them a chance to pick up these skills, but without maybe the pressure of um, having to conduct experiments led by their professor. So it's, it's not looking so much at, at a particular chemical experiment, it's looking at how to work in a laboratory or a kitchen yeah. with other people doing things with your hands and with apparatus. Absolutely. And it should be fun. <laughs> <laughs>